The standard unit of length in the National Spatial Reference System, or NSRS, is the meter, but many surveying and mapping applications in the United States still use feet, notably when working with state plane coordinates. It sounds simple enough, but due to a variety of historical reasons, the foot, as used in surveying and mapping, has two different definitions and conversions. So which is the right foot? These units are close in value, but not identical. This difference is so small that our eyes can't distinguish it. Even over more than a mile, the difference would be an insignificant hundredth of a foot. But if you are using a coordinate system with very large values, the different definitions will change your position significantly. This is a common issue when using state plane coordinates. For example, here are the decimal degree coordinates for a point near the border of Kentucky and Virginia. Let's transform this location from latitude and longitude into state plane coordinate zone Virginia South. State plane coordinates are commonly used map projections used by U.S. surveyors and can be computed in meters, U.S. survey feet, or international feet. Next, let's convert from meters as provided by NGS to U.S. survey feet, which is the standard in the states of Kentucky and Virginia. Finally, let's see what would happen if we converted our coordinates to international feet by mistake. In this example, the differences between U.S. survey feet and international feet would result in two entirely different positions, disagreeing by 7 feet in the north-south axis and 20 feet in the east-west axis, and placing the two positions 22 feet apart. This is significant enough to notice, and in this example could put you in a different state. So, before making your conversion from meters to feet, check what conversion, if any, was legislated by the state you are working in. Many states have adopted legislation defining what type of foot is to be used in that state, and well over half have chosen the U.S. survey foot. Also, take care when using today's survey-grade GPS receivers. They may seamlessly provide output in feet, but you need to understand if they are U.S. survey feet or international feet. If you always do, you'll be sure you are getting started off on the right foot.